Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to talk to you about tandem leashes. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, uh, Doc from How You Do It, and today I'm going to talk to you real quick about uh, tandem leashes and the best one that I've found. I guess it's kind of a review. I bought it on Amazon, so... Anyways, uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually, earlier, way back in my life, was a professional canine handler. I train police dogs, bomb dogs, and attack dogs. Um, so I kind of know what I'm talking about when it comes to dogs. But anyways, uh, let me talk about the tandem walking two dogs on a leash. Um, we were walking our dogs on those little zippy leashes. It's a pain in the butt. So I went ahead and I ordered a, a tandem leash, and I'm going to show you the one I ordered and why I think it's probably the best choice for you real quick. This is a, a tandem leash. I bought it off Amazon. It has that sort of little spongy material on it elastic material wrapped around this stuff and it expands uh, it does not have a swivel here which you can add but I found I really don't need a swivel here and then it comes down to two uh, two clicks on here this model is for small to medium dogs works perfect on my little idiots and uh, I'm gonna take you for a walk and I'm gonna show you how it works before I take you on the walk um, I don't know what I'll say on the walk so but I just want to let you know it works much better if you use a short leash just a regular standard five-foot leash or so um, do not use one of the long leashes one of the zip expandable leashes just use a regular size leash the nice thing about this is when dogs pull the pressure goes on the leash. It really doesn't go on the other dog, which is really nice. So if you have a dog that lunges at a rabbit or a squirrel, um, it's kind of nice. It, the, the full pressure comes on the leash. A little bit of pressure comes on it. Um, really like it. So I'll go ahead and take you on a little walk and let you see how it works. But by far, this is the best choice that I've found. What are you doing, Linda? Are you going to swim in the pool today? Are you going to swim in the pool? Here comes your crazy sister. We're going to get ready to go for a walk. Are you ready to go for a walk? Oh, I'm all excited. So it's early morning, going for our walk. And you can see one stopped to smell, and the other one has to stop. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Just keep your leash up high. If they do stop, again, you can see one wanted to stop. But most of the pressure is actually on the leash. So you don't get a lot of pressure dog to dog. If you have a dog that wants to lunge, the lunge will actually come to the leash and not to the other dog, which is nice. Uh -uh, leave it. Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we can smell it. This is a good example of what happens when we have a crazy. There was a rabbit. Again, the white one's pressure is on my leash, not on the other one, which is nice. interesting is the brown one knows where we turn so let's see if we can get her to do her thing okay, so we're coming up to the crossing point which is this driveway so let's see if Linda does her thing yep she knows where to cross that's our crossing point you guys have a good walk Cassie Cassie, did you have a good walk? You ready to go inside now? You ready to go inside? Say thanks a lot. Anyways, guys, I hope that tip helped you out. Again, by far the best solution i found for walking dogs, especially two dogs on one leash. Talk to you later. Doc, how you doing?